Hi, I'm Jane Fendelman. I want to talk to you about healthy communication and conflict resolution. This is one of my biggest things. In fact, when I'm doing a couples counseling session or a child family counseling session, this is where we start. I always teach this in the very first 15 minutes of every single session. People need to feel seen and heard. You can be in a beloved relationship and if you don't feel understood, it doesn't matter how much passion you have. That relationship will explode or implode if you don't have healthy communication and conflict resolution skills. So I want you to start thinking of your fights in two very distinct ways. Form is how you fight and content is what you fight about. We'll come back to form in a moment. Couples fight about things like chores, money, sex, in-laws, you shouldn't be drinking that, you shouldn't be smoking that, cleanliness, chores, who's going to drop off the kids, who's going to pick up the kids, who's not doing what, who's going to make them do their homework. What people fight about with their kids are things like homework, grades, school, stop hitting your brother, help me clean up after dinner, take out the trash. So people fight about all different kinds of things and that is your content. Now it doesn't matter how much you love another person, if you have poor form, you will never resolve your content and it'll pile up, it'll get swept under the rug and it'll pile up and you'll either keep, keep tripping over it and having it mess up your relationship or you keep on fighting about it, having the same fights over and over. Now, your form, it's more important than your content because if you have poor form, you will never resolve your content. There's advancers and withdrawers. Advancers like to talk things out. They're very verbal. The advancers are those people who ruminate. They can stay up till 2 or 3 a.m. perseverating. They can't just go to sleep and let it go. They'll stay up talking, 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 trying to work it out. And if they're using their form in the highest way, with maturity, they would say something like, you know what, honey? You're upset, I'm upset, let's sit down. You talk, I'll listen, then I'll talk, you listen, and we'll meet in the middle so that we're both happy. But you may have noticed, if you have an advancer in your life, that they often escalate. Escalating includes raising your voice, making lectures, speeches, not listening. Worst case scenario, as they start to escalate, yelling, screaming, name calling, an absolute worst case scenario, throw something, break something, hit someone. If you're in an abusive relationship where there's physical violence, you must leave. And both parties have to go into counseling. That's the only way. So advancers, as they're escalating, you may have noticed, you feel attacked and criticized. But if you're the advancer, you're just trying to get heard. People need to get heard. They need to feel understood. That's the advancer. Now with drawers, they're more nonverbal. They're more the peacekeepers. They're more avoiding confrontation. And they will get silent. And you may think they don't even care or that they're not listening. And sometimes they're not. They're just nodding their heads so that you'll shut up. <laughs> so a withdrawer, if they're handling their form in the highest way, they would say something like this. You know what, sweetie? I'm upset. I don't want to say anything I don't mean. I'm going to go take a walk. I'll be back in 20 minutes after I cool down and then we'll talk. Or they might say, you know, this is one of those things that time might take care of. Let's see if this sorts itself out. Or they might say, you know, we're, we're both hungry. We're tired. Let's get something to eat. Let's sleep on it. And let's revisit this in the morning. But if a withdrawer is escalating, they can do the silent treatment, cold shoulder. Sometimes they can be silent for hours. Worst case scenario, cold shoulder for days. Absolute worst case scenario, a withdrawer can leave the house, not say where they're going or when they're coming back and stay out the whole night. If you're with a withdrawer who's escalated and using their form in an immature way, you wind up feeling abandoned and rejected. Now all this, all this reaction, it's happening from our animal brain. It's fight or flight, bark and run. We don't want our dumbest brain running our most important relationships. We want our smart frontal lobes. 
We want to use our higher mind. We want to use that part of us that is more noble and patient and calm. So I'm going to give you a technique today that if you will use it every time you have a difficulty or communication challenge with another human being, whether it's your spouse, your beloved, your parents, or your children, it'll cure it every single time. It's called the talking stick. Now you've probably heard of the talking stick because it's a Native American tradition, a beautiful tradition. And the talking stick is a symbol of your soul. And whenever someone in your household goes and takes down the talking stick and comes to you and says, I need us to use the talking stick, you have to say yes. And if you're not available right then, you need to give them a time that day when you are available. Because I can tell you, this fight style, these, if you use this form, you will never resolve your content and there'll be a wound from the content and then there'll be a wound on top of the wound because of the form. So instead, you're going to say yes. I will do talking stick with you. You sit down someplace private, you get eyeball to eyeball, and the person who feels wounded says, when you yelled at me, that shattered my heart. That broke my heart. And you take the stick and you repeat back. Counselors for years have called this reflective listening. It's very validating, validates the feelings. They heal then and they dissipate. When I yelled at you, I shattered your heart, hurt your feelings. Now they're going to continue for 10 minutes. I didn't know I was doing something wrong. So I was shocked when you raised your voice to me. You didn't know that you were doing something wrong. And so I shocked you when I raised my voice to you. They get 10 minutes and then they are going to close with a compliment to you. I love your willingness to do the talking stick with me and heal every wound between us. You take the stick and then you just say, thank you. You don't repeat it back. Soak in that compliment. And then you switch and you get 10 minutes. Now, if it's a really hot topic that can't be resolved in just 10 minutes each, you can take a second 10 minutes, but then I want you to leave it alone for the day. You can revisit it tomorrow. What we're going to do is we're going to containerize your negativity so that it doesn't spread throughout your relationship and permeate every other area of your life. Here's when it happens in the time that we're doing talking stick. That's when, when we're going to be really negative and complain and criticize and be heard and heal. Now, this is so important that I always teach all of my couples and families the talking stick and then we take the talking stick vow. So I want you to promise to use the talking stick whenever you have a difficulty with your beloved or your kids and the talking stick is as follows. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, and then state your name, do hereby vow to use the talking stick instead of fighting like stupid babies. <laughs> That's the vow that everyone takes. And then you're going to shake hands and have a hug. I wish you well. Use the talking stick with your, with your parents, your spouse, your beloved, your kids. You can use the talking stick with your friends. I recommend it for every difficulty. It helps clean up your communication so that you don't have to do this anymore. The bark and run. I'm Jane Fendelman. Thank you so much for joining me. You can find me on the web at janefendelman.com and feel free to call me at 602-532-0335. All right. Ready? People need to be seen and heard. People need to feel understood. Form. <laughs> I'm yodeling now. You're very good. You just stand off. Helen. Thanks. I actually very good. <laughs> <laughs> Couples fight about are things like money, chores, 
who's dropping up or dropping off of content content the advancers those are those people who can there's form and content form is what you fight about which we'll come back to and content that was backwards 